We're joined in the Haute Horlogerie workshop of Zenith by uh, Yves Cortesi. Uh, bonjour, Yves. Bonjour. Eve is in charge of movement development at Zenith, and it is Eve who conceived the project for the uh, uh, Academy Georges Favre Jaco watch with its fusée and chain, and he can explain to us the uh, idea that lay behind it. And si je comprends bien, if I understand correctly, there are links between the history of Zenith with its vintage marine chronometers and the watch of today. Et la montre moderne aujourd'hui. Exactly. Zenith from its birth was looking to achieve precision with its watches. The balances made of the metals of that period were not of the quality we have today, so they would be much more affected by changes in force if there was more or less force delivered to the balance. The system of the fusée and chain existed to compensate for that. Today, even if we have the means to be much more precise, we still want to go further, and the fusée and chain allows us to use all of the energy in the barrel. We've progressed a lot since those earlier times with our technology and materials. We've been able to miniaturize everything. The chain is minuscule, and to have constant force, we can use computers to calculate the force link by link. We have many, many links, and we have calculated the place on the fusée for each one. So it's a system that on the one hand is old, but very much improved by modern technology. Exactly. Really exactly that. Today, as an in-house manufacturer, we have a system developed by us in a case of our own. The marriage between the two is perfect. That's the advantage of being a manufacturer. In the assembly of the uh, anniversary piece, actually the last stages are what we have been talking about, which is to say the fusée and chain. They come into the watch just almost at the very, very end. And we have uh, in front of us the uh, components now that are going to go in for the system, which is to say that we have the chain, which he's showing us now, the barrel, which is going to be inserted into the watch, the bridge that's going to hold the barrel, and already uh, in its position on the movement plate we have the fusée. So the operation begins by attaching the chain to the fusée, there is a minuscule hook on one end of the chain that is going to now be attached to the fusée. You can see the delicate winding operation to begin with using the crown to turn the fusée. And you can see the care that the watchmaker is bringing to this to ensure that there are no kinks in the chain as it's put into its position. Now we're putting a bridge in place to hold the uh, fusée in, in its position. Next comes the barrel, and there's going to be an operation to attach the very tiny end of the chain to the barrel. And this is the operation to attach the bridge to the barrel. So we have an interesting intersection between the past and the present with the Academy Georges Favre Jaco watch because we have a system that is quite old in time, used in marine clocks to improve timekeeping, but brought thoroughly into the present with modern techniques and a high frequency movement to bring more precision to a wristwatch.